All right, Patrick Cote, we will start with you. Welcome back, I think, is a good way to start. So what was it like to get the call and the opportunity to replace Rich Franklin in this spot, a uh, huge spot on short notice against Kung Lee? Oh, it's awesome. You know, I didn't expect to be back in the, in the UFC with a big fight like that, but I think that they put me in a big fight like that because they know I'm going to deliver it. You know what? I'm a big fan of Kung Lee. I like his style. I think it's going to be a spectacular fight. So Rich Franklin, his former opponent, went all the way to Singapore to find sparring partners, uh, felt maybe he could find some guys to mirror Kung Lee's style. Obviously, you didn't have that luxury given your stepping up here on short notice. What is the biggest challenge in facing such a gifted and unorthodox striker? Uh, like you said, he's, he's very unorthodox, he's agile, he's tricky, you know, very agile with his legs, good power. So, you know, I, I don't need to go anywhere. You know, I have all, all I need in Montreal with my camp. I brought some good softball kicker uh, in my camp too. So, I'm ready, you know, it's uh, it's a fight. So, you never know what's going to happen, but I do. I did my homework, homework for this fight, and I'm ready for this time, ready to get pitched to a good fight. So we know Kung Lee has a flair for the dramatic, huge repertoire of kicks, spectacular finishes. But let's not sell you short here. You're a knockout artist in your own right. You've got one of the best chins we've ever seen in mixed martial arts. Are you coming into this fight prepared to take one to land one to make sure you get that W Saturday night? You know, you can't train the chin. You know, I have a good chin, I know. Uh, I'm going to take everything he's going to give me, but I'm going to give him back for sure. It's going to be a hell of a fight. And yeah, Las Vegas knows you have a good chin. They've installed you as about a two-to-one favorite here. How do you feel about that? Uh, you know, I, I don't look that. I don't look that. You know, you can't be a favorite by a million on the paper, but when the bell rings, it's 50-50. It's inside the cage, and, uh, you know, I can't wait to be there Saturday. All right, Patrick Cote, have been doing some French commentary for the UFC. It's good to have you back where you belong inside the octagon. Patrick, uh, your challenge, the main, the one of the one half of the main event this uh, Saturday night. What do you think of that match? Uh, you know, I think it's uh, Anderson Silva is pretty bad now. It's a good thing. <laughs> the thing, uh, I think the, I'm picking Anderson Silva by the end of the third round. I think it's going to be a very different this time. It's going to be a it's not going to be surprised by the pace of Chell, but you know, I really hope we're going to have a good fight you know, for the main event like that. And so uh, everybody's waiting for this rematch, and I just hope it's going to be a, an amazing fight for the company and for the fans. Hey Patrick, how are you? This is Rafa from Univision Deportes. Can you talk a little bit about how, what you do in between fights? Obviously you keep in shape, but you know, late notice, late phone call, you love the phone call, but how much of a hurry up? camp that you have or are you already in shape when you got the phone call? You know what, for the last 18 months I fought uh, four times. I won my last four, four fights. I uh, fought last uh, March 31st in Brazil, won my uh, knockout the first round. And uh, I was staying in shape. Yeah, I knew it that I was close to be back in the UFC and uh, probably this situation could happen, like late replacement or late call. I, I was staying in shape and uh, you know, like I said, I fought March 31st. I took four days off, get back in the gym. I was already in good shape to fight, and uh, they called me with four four weeks before the, the the event, so that was just a bonus for me to have this uh, four weeks of training more. Uh, the question here is for both of you. You both are knockout artists. What do you find most challenging about preparing for each other? Is Patrick first? Uh, yeah, but you know what? I never fought a guy like like Conley before. You know, he's one of a kind. He's very unique. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of thing I had to take in my training. And uh, you know, I brought some good guy, like I said, good softball kicker that were doing. Uh, you know, this, they were trying to do the style of Conley. Uh, it's like when I fought Anderson Silva. You know, there it is. They're so different from everybody else. But you know what? I I think I did pretty good against Anderson Silva until I uh, bust my knee, and I'm ready to do the same kind of performance without the injury with the uh, kids coming. What did you learn in your first stint in the UFC that's gonna help you this second time around? Uh, you know, I'm more mature now. Uh, you know, I, I I'm doing what I should do maybe three or four years ago. You know, about my training, about my lifestyle of fighter. Took less time between fights, so I was less injured and uh, you know, always in good shape. Uh, working a lot of my uh, my uh, weakness and uh, you know more dedicated about, about the sport than I was like three or four years ago. So you know what you learn by uh, by the time you learn by your mistake. Like I said, I'm doing now what I should do maybe three or four years ago, but it's never too late. Okay, so I'm back now. Can't wait. To, can't wait to fight Saturday.